Hello and welcome to Physics Teacher. In this video, I'm going to go over a lab that I do with my grade 11 chemistry students where we are going to find the percent composition of calcium carbonate inside tubs. All right, so to do this, we have some new equipment that I'm gonna show you how to use. We have a pneumatic trough, gas bottle and a gas plate and I'm going to show you how to collect a gas in this video. Now inside of Tums is a compound called calcium carbonate and it will react with hydrochloric acid to form among other things carbon dioxide gas. Now if we can collect and measure the volume of this gas we can work backwards with some stoichiometry to figure out the mass of calcium carbonate. And if we know the mass of the Tums tablet to begin with, we can find out how much of Tums is made of calcium carbonate or the percent composition of calcium carbonate in each Tums tablet. Now there's a lot of calculations to be done there. And if you want to see me do those calculations for you, let me know in the comments and I'll make a separate video for that. But for this, we are going to do the measurements and get the data that we need to actually do those calculations. So first, Let's figure out the mass of one of these tablets. So we have a mass of 1.326 grams. 1.326 grams. Next, what we need to do is figure out the total volume inside of this gas cylinder. So to do that, we are going to use graduated cylinders and to keep adding water to figure out exactly how much water is required to fill this. So there's 100 milliliters. There's another 100, so 200 milliliters. And right up to the very brim. And we're left with eight milliliters. So that means I added another 92 milliliters. So this gas ball contains a total of 292 milliliters. Now that we know that, we are going to use a gas plate. Let's just overflow this a little bit. All right, so we'll use a glass plate to taper that off and then turn it upside down. Might want to have the pneumatic trough filled with water already. <laughs> so this is our pneumatic trough. Now there is a hole in the bottom attached to this hose and the rubber stopper that has a hole there. Make sure you always keep this above the level of the pneumatic trough. If it goes below, then water is going to come out. We don't want that. So I'm just going to rest that inside here. I can take my glass bottle, turn it upside down, put it under the water, and then I can slide out the glass plate. So this is all filled with water, and I'll put it over top of our hole there. Next, we are going to fill this up, this test tube up with about one third hydrochloric acid. We don't need an exact measurement because this is going to be in excess. We have more than enough of hydrochloric acid to completely react with all the calcium carbonate in the Tums. Now this is where some finesse comes in. We want to place the Tums inside without reacting it because we want to place the stopper on it first. Then we place the stopper on it, and then we can have it react. So we're getting a gas being produced from the bubbles. It's gonna rise, come through here, and gather inside. Now the reaction takes a few minutes, so we'll let all the gas 
gather inside of our glass jar. And when the bubbles stop, we're good. Now, one thing to note when you're doing these calculations is you are collecting gas over water. This is what we call collecting gas over water. So the gas that we get inside this jar is not all carbon dioxide. There is going to be some water vapor. And you'll have to look up what the, the pressure is for the partial pressure for water vapor inside of this jar based on the temperature in the room. And the temperature in the room currently is about 22 degrees Celsius. That is something you'll need for your calculations. And the pressure in the room, not 100% sure, but let's go with standard pressure, 101.3 kPa. I think that'll be good enough for our lab here. All right, so it looks like we are done here. So remember, don't put this below the water level. So I'm just gonna rest it here. Then I'm gonna take my glass plate again, put it underneath the glass jar. And again, a little bit of finesse, lift it up, out, and over. Now, yes, the gas did escape, but that's okay, because I just want to know that volume. And it's the same as the amount of volume of water that was displaced. Now, we know from the beginning how much total volume this is. So all we need to do is figure out how much volume of water is left, and we can subtract the two to figure out the volume of gas that was produced. So let's measure how much water is left. So there's 100 milliliters. hundred and ninety seven milliliters of water was remaining. So you can subtract the two there to get the volume of the gas. Then you can do the calculations to get the percent composition of calcium carbonate in a Tums tablet. Let me know what you get. And also, if you want to see me do those calculations, let me know in the comments and I'll make a separate video for that.